Late Report. Well, John F. Kennedy Jr. will be in town October 17th to speak at a meeting of the Seattle Advertising Federation. Kennedy's speech will be titled, I Could Have Married Any Babe in This Audience. <laughs> The so-called blob building located at the foot of Queen Anne Hill is facing likely demolition by a new developer. The only chance that the building could be escaped the wrecking ball is if it is put on the National Registry of Historic Blobs. <laughs> the Wall Street Journal reports that Microsoft stock soared 33% over the past year, making Bill Gates worth over $19 billion. Meanwhile, construction continues on his new home. Yeah, it looks like Melinda really wants to get in there before Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> well, the city of Seattle has proposed a new ordinance to regulate horse-drawn carriages, which would require all horses to behave, to be current on their vaccinations, and to wear diapers. <laughs> Coincidentally, those same requirements were just ordered for all Seattle taxi drivers. <laughs> Seattle Rain, the women's professional basketball team, is practicing against a dozen men recruited from a Fremont gym. Inspired by the idea, the Sonics announced that they will play preseason ball against an advanced step aerobics class. <laughs> the League of Conservation Voters has put State Representative Randy Tate on their dirty dozen list for voting against the environment. Tate responded to the news by saying, Awesome, when do I get to meet Lee Marvin? <laughs> Jerry Springer announced plans to bring his talk show to Seattle next week to do a special on street kids. After hearing that Stringer was coming, most of the street kids went straight home to their families. <laughs> oh, wait, I've just been handed this late breaking news. Let's just hand it in. Cairo has been sold once again. And is now an antique mall with over 60 merchants. <laughs> Finally, a deep earthquake with a magnitude of 3.5 was felt in Paulsbo last week. Thankfully, none of the RVs were damaged. <laughs> this has been the late report. Thank you, and we'll be right back.